time to bring those saloon and galley parts inside a mistress to start permanently fitting them. Well, this kind of feels like Christmas, having all these panels ready to go. Well, that was pretty easy. Wherever one panel needs to be joined to another panel, it will also be epoxy glued. The through hole here, that needs to be able to be accessed at all times. There is more to consider. As much as I would love to just hammer ahead, the temptation is very strong actually. Well, this kind of feels like Christmas, having all these panels ready to go, ready to put in such a big batch of them. This is going to be quite rewarding. The first panel that I'm going to install is this bit of lining here. Now, a couple of things with that. The first is, as I explained in prior videos when I was putting this spray on insulation on, I did have some problems with it, and it was both in the way that it was laying on, including the thickness. What it's meant is the end result, particularly through the middle of the boat here, it just didn't go on as thick as I wanted. The other thing is it is somewhat uneven in the coverage. So what I've ended up with is anywhere from between 25 millimetres to 40 millimetres. My goal was to aim for a thickness approximately 30 millimetres and as I say it's just a bit uneven. So that's the first thing. The second thing with that is even if I did get the 30 millimetres of coverage that I wanted that would still leave a gap between the finished spray on insulation and the back of the lining panels particularly through the middle part of the boat as I said. So what I've decided to do is to up the R factor and put in some other insulation in the form of bats and I've gone for the earth wall. So the plan now with that is I'm actually going to get the bats in the boat and cut them to size and then just adhere them to this spray on insulation with some Fix 15 and then I'll be able to put the panel over the top of that. The other thing to make comment about is regarding the cleats that were pre-welded onto the hull in anticipation for needing to be used for fixing points for the lining. Because I'm able to put one whole length of lining board across this section here and it'll be fixed in three points, I really don't think I need to make use of these cleats in this section of the boat. And the panel certainly is strong enough. There's no flex, I've tried already. It really did not want to move. So these cleats have turned out to be redundant, which is absolutely fine. Better that they were there in the first place in case they needed to be used. I'll be installing this lining in the same sort of way that the other panels were installed. I don't have the battens for the ends cut up yet, I'll do that later, but it won't stop me installing this panel now. Well, that was pretty easy. Well, that's gone in pretty simple and easily and it's a good model 
for I think what else is going to be going on in the rest of this centre part of the boat in terms of using some extra insulation and getting the larger panels fixed. As I said, I will leave the battens until a little later. I just want to get the bulk of these panels in and then I can be making that and getting it epoxy coated along the way. And that certainly does add some thick insulation to the rest of that part of the hull there, which is great. And also that's been a, an easy fix to boost up the R factor. Next panel. Just to explain how I will install all of these panels when it comes to them being bolted to the cleats, as I did with the prior bulkheads, I'll actually use the trusty Fix 15 to help in the bonding and I'll put that on the cleats and just on the top of the floors where the panels will be sitting. So I'll just need to roughen the surfaces up with a bit of sandpaper just so that that gives a good bonding connection then put the panel in place and bolt it up. Now the other thing is wherever one panel needs to be joined to another panel it will also be epoxy glued. So what I'll need to do after I've sanded these hull floors and cleats I'll mix up some epoxy glue that I'll actually smear down this panel here on the end and have that joint connected with epoxy glue. Then screw it in place to hold it and that should be that. Then it'll be on to the next panel. Now I've put this panel in and I have a few things to consider to make sure that I get access to everything on the other side of this panel once it goes in. As you know I've put the two penetrations in to get access inside behind this and it will have a shelf. However as you can see the through hole here at the end of this stick that needs to be able to be accessed at all times. So what I've come up with as a plan for that is I will have a fixed shelf for half of the width of this panel 
pretty much where the door will open into these spaces. The fixed shelf will stop and then I will have a shelf that will continue on. However, it will be removable so that once the doors open, the shelf will be able to be removed and then I'll be able to have full access to that whole space in the event that I ever need to get access to that valve, remove it, which I hope I don't have to, but that's the sort of consideration I'm allowing for so that I do have access to the things of importance which I don't want to completely cover up. Well, a bit of an update, everybody. I've got these two panels in. I've got the floor in for this lot of cabinets. I've got the lining up there and I've got this panel in place. And I was considering all sorts of things, actually, as I was pointing out, one of which is regarding the through hole fitting. And there is more to consider. So the short story is, as much as I would love to just hammer ahead and get all of these panels that I've prepared fitted, the temptation is very strong actually. I need to get some other things done before I can press ahead with that. Otherwise, I'm just creating work for me that is absolutely unnecessary. So it's a bit of a screech breaks on halting with the panel installation and go back to the drawing board literally and get some more things made up and in place before I can actually press on with these. Probably disappoints some viewers but I'm the one that has to do the work. And in fact it's the same for the saloon area. Getting those other two bulkheads in would be very easy to just press ahead with but I need to do some things there before I can press ahead again. Otherwise, I'm just creating work that I really needn't do. So bear with me, folks. The panels will go in all in good time. So please join me in the next episode, everybody, where I continue with the panel installation and continue the momentum making more. Please like, subscribe, hit that bell and share. I'd really, really appreciate that.